Hello and welcome to DTK Custom Knives. In this video you're going to see me profiling uh, this nest muck. There's a difference in this nest muck from the handle back it's uh, a different design of handle and uh, from the blade edge forward I've tweaked a little bit of this as well. Um, you'll see me test piecing uh, two pieces of this steel and uh, you'll see me do a snap test and a second test on this uh, woodlaw of the same steel. So if you like what you see, give the channel a thumbs up, subscribe and if you have any friends who are like minded into knife making, share the video with them. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. Okay, so I've got my uh, test piece of 14C28N stainless steel, 4mm. My even heat oven is just ramping up to 1060. I'm going to put it in at 1060, hold it for 15 minutes. I'm going to take it out, quench it in my oil, Parks 50. Then I'm going to throw it in the freezer. For an hour take it out of the freezer and then I'm going to temper in my other oven at 175 and I'm hoping by the stats from Sandvik that should give me a Rockwell hardness of around 59 and I'll check that on my uh, Rockwell hardness tester in the house so um, let's see how it goes this is the first time I've used this kiln, so I'm a little bit, uh, you know. Um, John Woodward, multi, uh, multi, pro multi tools products. I bought this off. Uh, so John, you need to send me a sticker <laughs> to get on the on the door. Um, great guy to deal with. If you're looking for one of these units, uh, have a chat with John, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. Okay, so we're at 10.59 now for this, uh, we're at 10.60, here we go. So I'm going to put this in now at 10.60. Just drop in, it drops to 10.6, so now it should go up to back up to 1060, get it back up to 1060, and we'll hold for 10 minutes. Um, I'll update when we uh, quench. So we're just coming up to our uh, quenching time now. This has been soaking for uh, 10 minutes. The steel is a 14C28N stainless steel. Ten seconds. Why don't you open the thing right there? Yeah. That's it. Jeez. Leave it in there a couple more seconds, a couple more <laughs> minutes, more like. It. 
quenching. I'll chuck that in the freezer for an hour. So we'll see what the uh, hardness we've reached um, on the quenching. Just takes a few seconds. So I've uh, put this in the freezer, I'm not too sure whether you'll see the marks on there, but I've tested this and this came out at, I think it was 58.5 on the Rockwell tester, so I'm going to put them in there now. I'm tinkering just 170, 175, so I'm going to chuck them in and then what we'll do is I'll just monitor that till it settles at 175, 170 and uh, that's in there now for two hours so I'll get back to you okay so I've uh, got this test piece heat treated and now I'm just going to do the brass rod test so if you look carefully you should be able to see blade flex, the edge of the blade flex, look, you can make that out there, and then I'll go to the lighter, and then you should be able to see this flex as well, as I pull it, can you see it flexing, so that was flexing. Okay, so this is the 14C28N stainless steel. I've just done a snap test on it, <coughs> clamped them both back in the vise, and I think I'd be happy to say that that is a very smooth grain structure. So I'd be happy with that, and that reached uh, a 57 Rockwell uh, with the edge uh, uh, good retention on it. So I'm happy with that. So I've just got this uh, second piece, test piece in here, of a 14NC to a 14C 2AN.
I'm going to chuck this in the freezer for an hour. It's probably still too hot to hold. So this is the update on the uh, second test piece of uh, stainless steel. I'm not going to keep repeating the number. Um, so anyway, uh, you should be able to pick up the indent, what the Rockwell tester left. So there's one from the hardening and there's one after the tempering. Uh, there should be eight of them on there. So the first one, uh, we come out at a very consistent 60 uh 60.5 uh, which was good and uh, after tempering we got a very consistent 57 on that so now I know that the uh, from the first test piece I'd done I know that the grain structure in there is nice and smooth I've just got to put an edge on this now and then uh, test the edge retention on it um, this stainless steel was uh, given to me by uh, Richard at uh, Barmon's Special Steels uh, at Sheffield. Um, if you're in, in the market for any steel, give him a call or look him up and I'm sure he'll be able to get in touch with you. This, I believe, is uh, a template of a, a wood a wood law, wood law, sorry. Uh, the knife what uh, Raymere uses apparently. Yeah, so this is uh, the test piece. So I shall get back to you on the update on how the edge does on this at a 57 Rockwell. Probably won't be in this video, but uh, I will update you. So the third test is going to be this knife. Uh, these knives are not going to be slap tested because I know the, the, the grain structure is good. Um, it's the Rockwell hardness after tempering I'm looking for. And this one... I'm going to try and aim uh, for a higher Rockwell of 59 because the 59 Rockwell, uh, although you lose part of the toughness on the blade, you gain in edge retention on the blade edge. Um, so, you know, there's one sacrifice for another gain. So that's what I'm going to aim on this one, but I need to do a little bit more research on the tempering cycle of that. So, yeah, so that was just a quick update on how that test piece went. Okay, so I've got um, a second piece of uh, 14C 28N um, in there now, so I'm just about to uh, take it out. <coughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to wait for it. I've got to wait 12 minutes yet, sorry. <laughs> right, guys, uh, thank you for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said at the beginning, if you like what you see, subscribe, or like and share. Um, also, I'd just like to put a message out to uh, everybody who's lost uh, loved ones through the, uh, the COVID-19 virus. Um, my condolences are, are with you and your families. And uh, let's drop kit this uh, virus out of the UK. So be safe, guys.